tuned to the end of the video. We're going to give you the top reasons to buy the Les Paul Standard 50s over the 60s and then vice versa. And also, as we wrap up this series on the best-selling Les Pauls from Epiphone and Gibson, I'll tell you my absolute favorite of the whole bunch. So stay tuned at the very end. Play and Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play and trade it. We're wrapping up our series on the best-selling Les Pauls from both Gibson and Epiphone with a comparison today of the standard of standards. We're talking the Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s and the Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s. You can check out our shootout of the Humbuckers vs. P90s on those beautiful gold tops, but today we're featuring the factory run of the 50s and 60s with the Humbuckers. We're going to uncase them, we're going to put them on the bench and talk specs, and of course we're going to plug them in and play them. So drop a comment as we go. At the top, make sure you're subscribed. We're giving away a beautiful Gibson Les Paul Custom Shop R7 when we hit 50,000 subscribers, and we're growing fast thanks to all of you. Uh, entry link down in the description. You enter on Gleam, and when you're ready to buy a Les Paul, buy using our link in the description. Every time you buy a guitar using our link, you actually support Play and Trade Guitar. So if you like what we're doing, or you're in the market for a new guitar, use our purchase link down in the description. So without further ado, let's open these cases and get to work on the Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s and 60s. Let us know which one you're gonna buy. Oh, beautiful. Heritage Cherry Les Paul Standard. This is the 50s. We'll talk about the differences. We're gonna be comparing that to the standard 60s, this one in a beautiful bourbon burst. I love that. On both guitars, you're gonna have a double A flamed maple top, which is beautiful mahogany body, mahogany neck. And uh, the main difference is going to be in that neck. On the 50s, you're gonna have a thicker 50s profile neck. And on the 60s, you're gonna have that slimmer 60s slim taper feel. There's also a difference in pickups and a few other attributes that we'll talk about. So why don't we head over to the bench and we'll do a full deep dive in all the specs of both guitars before we plug them in and play it. Let's do it. So regardless which Les Paul standard you choose, the case candy is going to be the same. You're going to get that nice Gibson strap, multi-tool, which is just the best. That thing is incredible. The baby photo, which is the bench photo from uh, Gibson USA factory in Nashville. You can watch our tour, by the way. And then the COA uh, warranty information and all the rest of it. Gibson Mother of Pearl inlay, open book head style. You'll always see standard on the truss rod cover, although they do include a blank if you'd rather have that. Graph Tech Nut, a rosewood fretboard with 22 frets. Of course, on a standard, binding is one of the great features. Uh, that binding takes a lot of labor. It's a labor of love to put that binding on the neck and the body itself looks fantastic, uh, but that's gonna up the price as well. Then the top is gonna be a double A flamed maple top. Beautiful, get some of those tiger stripes going in there. And then the pickups on the 50s are going to be a Burst Bucker 1 in neck, a Burst Bucker 2 in bridge, and we'll talk about how that compares to the 60s when we get there. Uh, but you can just get a quick look at this guitar and see that the mahogany, beautiful, deep, uh, rich red on this finish, gloss nitro finish. So on the standard, you're going to have a full gloss nitro finish on the Gibson Les Paul standard. And then on the 50s, you got these nice double line Gibson uh, Deluxe uh, Cluson style tuners with those vintage uh, tulip uh, tuning keys, which look great. 50s profile is going to be one of the biggest differentiators between the 50s and 60s standard. Nut reading 1.69, first fret at 0 0.89 inches, uh, 12th fret at 1 inch. We have a body thickness at 2.02 inches, so we have that mahogany solid body, uh, non-weight relieved on these, and then you have that maple cap on the top here, which we'll see when we remove the pickups. Flip up these pickups to reveal a Burst Bucker 1 in neck and a Burst Bucker 2. So these are patent applied for PAF style humbuckers. Uh, in neck and bridge there, you can also get a look at the maple cap here. And then the neck tenon on these will be a short neck tenon. Got a reading on these pickups. We have a Burst Bucker 2 in bridge, reading 7.8. Burst Bucker 1 in neck, also reading uh, 7.8 and then combine 3.9 in the middle. Strings are back on, we'll get an initial reaction on just the neck shape. So thicker 50s profile neck. It's gonna sit really comfortable, at least uh, to my liking in the hand. Um, so depending on your preference, that's one of the main things that'll differentiate these guitars. You've got a slightly thicker neck. Um, it's noticeable in the hand, but it sits comfortable. It lets you grab uh, chords really comfortably. I always like when I'm playing, it provides a lot of 
comfortable support to kind of uh, right here at the joint and it just sits real nice in the hand um, across as well but it's definitely chunkier and you'll notice that on the 50s style but great feeling guitar out of the box let's get a weight and we'll move on to the 60s uh, 9 pounds, 2 ounces, so we'll call it 9.1 pounds. No weight relief on these at all. And since we just weighed the 50s, let's put this up on the wall and we'll bring the 60s over and get to work. Uh, 9.5 pounds, so 9.5 pounds, so just uh, another half pound here on this particular 60s. The rosewood on uh, some of these guitars when they ship new looks a little dry, so what I do there is I just use a few drops of something like a Diodario Hydrate, and uh, you can just kind of baptize the board and give this rosewood a drink, which this one definitely needs some. And now here's where it'll really start to differ. Uh, first fret 0 0.80, 12th fret 0 0.91. So about a tenth of an inch difference from the 50s to the 60s. Slim taper 60s style uh, neck here on the 60s profile. Body thickness 2.03, so the same thing there as well. So apart from a couple style differences, these you'll notice have the Kidney Bean Grover chrome tuners as opposed to the double line Clusen style Gibson Deluxe tuners on the 50s. You'll also see a different set of knobs, so these have the reflector knobs uh, with the volume, volume, tone, tone compared to the 50s. But apart from that, everything's going to look pretty much the same. You've got this ABR1 uh, style Gibson bridge on both. And the biggest other thing other than the neck shape is going to come down to the pickups. So let's pull these out and take a look. We have a uh, Rhythm 61 in neck, and then we have a Lead 61 in bridge, and that compares to the Burst Bucker 2 in neck on the 50s and Burst Bucker 1 uh, in bridge on the 50s. Here we have a set of 61 humbuckers. And also while we're in here, you can also get a look at that maple cap and that mahogany body and all that routing. Keep watching to the end, because at the end I'll give you reasons to buy the 50s over the 60s and vice versa. And then since we're wrapping up our Les Paul series, I'll actually give you my opinion of my personal favorite Les Paul from the whole lineup. So stay tuned. But uh, let's get this put back together. A few more specs and we'll be ready to play. Got a pickup reading on the 61s. We're at 7.7 in bridge, which is the lead 61. We're at 7.6 in the neck, which is the rhythm 61 and 3.8 combined. Checking out the 60s neck profile, um, noticeably slimmer. So I have, uh, I guess, relatively bigger hands, and I always notice on the slim taper, it kind of, it'll leave more of a gap in the same part I was telling you that I really like being supported by the 50s thicker neck. So keep that in mind. I think if you have bigger hands, to me personally, the 50s profile feels pretty good. Um, but a lot of people absolutely love the slim taper, and I have guitars that are great that have slim taper necks too. Um, but you can definitely notice that the 60s is going to give you that slimmer profile. I really feel like I, I can feel a pinch down here more so than on that 50s fatter style neck. Well, with that said, we've got all the specs. We visited the bench. It's time to get it off the bench, plug in and play, and drop a comment. Let us know which one you're in the market for. And remember to use our purchase link below. When you buy a guitar through our purchase link, you support playing trade guitars. Thanks for watching. Let's head over and plug in.
you made it. Let's talk top three reasons to buy the Les Paul Standard 50s over the 60s. Number one, if you got a love for the bigger necks, go with the 50s. It's got that chunkier 50 style profile, which we measured, you can check out in all the specs. And I just think it feels fantastic in the hands. Number two, I love that they put the double line Gibson Deluxe uh, vintage style tuners on there. I think they look really, really sharp um, over the kidney bean Grovers on the 60s. And uh, number three, I'm actually, to tell you the truth, not usually a fan of the Burst Bucker 1 and 2, but in this particular guitar, uh, I thought they sounded really good. And I have a bonus reason. The 50s actually offers you a crazy amount of choice. Check out our video on the gold tops because the 50s is the only one that comes in the gold top options. And then there's two options. There's the Humbucker or the P90. So to add to your choices, I think the 50s wins just for the number of choices you can get in that configuration. And if you're going to buy the one with the Humbuckers, I would tell you buy the one and the gold top because I think the 50s gold top is just a look that's really, really hard to beat. Top reason to buy the Les Paul Standard 60s over the 50s, it's gonna come down to that neck again. If you want that slim, tapered, fast playing neck, you like that skinny neck, it's gotta be the 60s. Uh, number two, I think uh, on this one in particular, my goodness, the uh, flamed maple top and this bourbon burst looks just absolutely fantastic. Uh, but the pickups, again, the 61s, I generally tend to prefer over Burst Bucker 1 and 2. I think that they have a bit more well-rounded clarity than a Burst Bucker 1 and 2, which to my ear can sound harsh in a lot of guitars. It worked out well in our 50s, but I think um, in general, I'm a bigger fan of those 61 humbuckers. Um, that, that come in here. And uh, number three, kind of a curveball reason, but I'm assuming you already have your heart set on one of those 50s gold tops or maybe the one with the P90s. And if you've already got the 50s gold top or the one with the P90s, well then add the humbucker, maybe round out your collection with the 60s for a little uh, variation, especially when you layer guitars and recordings. It's always helpful to have two that sound a little bit different and the 60s will do that. So really at the end of the day, it comes down to neck shape and pickup configuration. And beyond that, um, drop a comment and let us know which one you're after, which, which one is your dream guitar. And as we wrap up this series, I was saying uh, that I would let you know what my absolute favorite of the whole bunch. I think you can line 10 great guitars up in a row and one of them just sometimes has that absolute magic. And for whatever reason, the one that was my absolute favorite of the whole bunch was this guy right here. This one had a special magic to me if we're talking kind of standard Gibson productions. Um, this particular gold top 50s with the humbuckers, this is just, even as I pick it up now, it just feels fantastic. I think it had a perfect weight, like eight and a half pounds or something. And it just feels and plays fantastic. I love P90s, don't get me wrong. But if I had to pick a favorite of the whole run in our series on Les Pauls, I'd have to pick the gold top with the humbuckers. I just loved it. Thanks for watching. Check out all the rest of the videos and when you're ready to buy, use our purchase link down in the description. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.